really cold day today. We've actually had a little bit of snow as well. But we're now looking at that week, a minus three and minus four temperatures. So we've got to be really careful and hopefully you've done this, covered everything with fleece. It doesn't take much to knock your plants back, but it does take quite a while for them to pick back up when it doesn't get significantly warmer within a week or so, which we're not looking at just yet. So I've been covering everything up with fleece. So I'm just gonna take a quick look this morning and see if there's any damage. That just shows you what a difference that little bit of fleece makes. There's no damage to these. You'll know if they've been hit by any amount of frost whatsoever because these leaves will start to go dark and they'll droop as well. It doesn't always kill that plant but it definitely knocks it back and when you're just starting off trying to get things growing you don't want to send them into that state but broad beans perfectly fine. Even these smaller plants, like these sweet peas, perfectly healthy looking. And you can see those carrots as well. You'll have to excuse any noises on this video. We've got building works going off next door, so I'm gonna try and work in between that. I have only come out for a few minutes today, obviously with it being so cold. But what we need to do is uncover these plants because they're in a greenhouse, there's no frost around at the moment, but we have got a good amount of sunshine. So we need to take advantage of as much sunshine as we can get at this time of year. So these get uncovered, you can see everything's all right. Then at night, we'll cover them back over and minimum watering, if any at all, at this stage of year. Because the more moisture you've got in your containers, especially small pots and cells, the more chance you've got of that compost freezing solid and we don't want that. But if you haven't got fleece, use cardboard, use bubble wrap, use some old sheets that you might have kicking around, anything just to offer that bit of protection because you can see it definitely makes a difference. And cold as it is or not, I have been over the last couple of days going around garden and starting that big tidy up ready for spring. And that includes setting up a few bits and bobs in that container garden because we're doing a double container garden this coming year. And one section is what we used last year, and then the other section gets part shade, which is gonna be perfect for things like spinach. It's gonna stop a lot of things bolting this year. So that's why I've nominated that area to use as plants that don't mind being in a bit of shade, like carrots, for example. They don't have to be in full sun all day. Cauliflowers don't like it too much either. They do tend to bolt along with things like your Chinese cabbage, wherever I put that. We have got some of that as well. It's at the back of those carrots and it looks perfectly fine. So while that noise has stopped just for a moment, we'll just pop down to the container garden and I'll show you what we've started to do. So you can see we've had a bit of a dusting of snow. And I've also fixed that greenhouse door back on. We've got to start somewhere. I've cleared that branch that fell from that tree and tidied up that area. I've got to wait until I can get hold of some panels so we can fix that. That's where that storm knocked a lot of wood out at fencing panels. We'll just go down to that container garden area. I'll show you what we've done very quickly because it is very cold today. So you can see we started putting all the shelving in place. We're going to put a lot more in than what's here at the moment, but this is a start and I've cleared 
I'll just get out at some. And I've cleared this area up as well. Got a few more benches in there. Not sure what I'm going to do with that old tin bath this year. I think we grew onions in it last year. But we've had a good tidy. And there's more shelving that we're going to be putting in here quite soon. Early spring. But at least we've made a start. And we've got a few hanging baskets as well in place. So, before that noise kicks in again, I work my way back up garden. We're obviously not doing note with these oak tunnels at the moment. You can see how that frost has knocked those cabbages down. And that's what would happen to your plants if you didn't flee them in greenhouse. All those leaves had dropped down and then they'd start to discolour as well. But at least we're starting to get a little bit of something done now. So as you can see, we've made a start. And we've been digging out quite a few of these hanging baskets as well. We're going to hang them up around that container garden area on the side of that shed. Anywhere we can basically put them so we can take advantage of vertical growing. I've got a few pieces of trellis out there and we'll be attaching that to some more of those wooden containers. All those at the moment are in shed because we're trying to keep them dry over winter. But if we just come out and do a couple of bits and bobs every week by the time we get to spring, everything's going to be pretty much set in place for us. We're not concerning ourselves with seed sowing at the moment, just a few bits and bobs inside, and that makes perfect sense given what weather we're getting at the moment. So make sure you fleece everything. Make sure they get a minimum amount of water, if any at all, to prevent that compost freezing. And just keep doing a little bit or a tidy up. But not spending too much time outdoors at the moment because it's way too cold and we don't want to get a cold ourselves and get knocked back just as spring arrives. We're going to get these benches out of here as well. They'll be going down into that container garden and that's going to give us loads and loads of space. And at the same time we'll then turn the compost in this greenhouse and get it ready for some tomato plants. So we've got plenty of plans we just haven't got the weather at the moment and you can see we've had that bit of snow we're getting frost all the time now and we're going between minus two minus four so indoor work only at the moment making plans for that container garden and getting everything ready for when spring arrives so for yourselves same sort of plan just keep warm do a little bit at a time not too much don't sow too many seeds don't start sowing your tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that because indoors they're going to grow quick and you're not going to have anywhere to put them. So if you have plants that are too big, they'll get leggy because they don't have enough sunlight and you'll not be able to put them outside probably until mid-May. And if you do, they're most definitely going to die. So hold off on things like that for definite. Just concentrate on your peppers and your onions, as I said in a previous video. So just a very short video today, just to show you that we have still got things on go, but we're not trying to get too much done at the moment because of weather. And if you're at a bit of a loss for something to do at the moment, then check out our quiz channel. I'm trying to build up as many quizzes on there as I possibly can, and quite a lot of different themes as well. So there should be something there for everyone, but it's also something else to keep your mind busy and get a little bit of enjoyment out of it at the same time. So if you've not seen that quiz channel yet, I'll leave a link in the description. Pop over there, try a few of those quizzes out, see what you think. And if it's something that's going to interest you over the next few weeks, when it's too cold to be doing too much outdoors, then please hit subscribe on that channel, because it's really going to help me build that channel up. And we're slowly going to get more and more done over the next few weeks, and it's going to be spring before you know it. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you next time. Stay warm.